All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing for our general style is cauliflower is battering our cauliflower. So what we're gonna need is one cup of flour and you can use whatever kind of flour you want, gluten-free flour, brown rice flour. Here I just use white flour and then we're going to mix it with one cup of water. So I just mix that around. Then we're gonna be placing our cauliflower in the flour batter and just gently tapping the excess off and then rolling it into a cup of breadcrumbs. So here I'm just using panko breadcrumbs and I just gently roll them in there and then place them on my parchment paper. So we're just gonna keep doing this until all of our cauliflower is gone. All right, so this is what they should look like when they're all done. So now we are going to be putting these in our oven on the top rack and we have it set at 450 degrees. We're gonna place these in here for 30 minutes just to let the batter harden up and then we will get to making our sauce. So once you take your cauliflower out of the oven, it should just be nice and crispy and we're gonna be making our general sour sauce. So I have rice vinegar, soy sauce, a little bit of sriracha, we have crushed chili peppers, brown sugar, poison sauce, and then crushed garlic and fresh ginger. So next we're just gonna be gently mixing this sauce together. And then what we're gonna be doing is dipping each piece of our breaded cauliflower into the sauce and placing it back on our parchment paper. Then we will place it back in the oven for another 15 minutes just to let the sauce soak in and to really get the crispiness of the general sauce. And then we're gonna take it out of the oven. And then here's what the final product looks like. So generally I just serve this over brown rice with some stir fry vegetables and I'll put some sesame seeds on top and then drizzle just a little bit of the leftover general sow is on top as well. So if you guys want this recipe, go to our website. It's free on our website. We also have a printable PDF and step-by-step -step guide on how to make this for you and your family. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please share, like, and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.